This is something that I needed because I'm still healing for my surgery. If you didn't know, I had deviated septum surgery and collapsed nasal valve surgery. So I am still recovering from that and also have not been feeling well. So I thought just kind of a slow, little bit of a self-care day just to soak in these autumn days before they turn into winter. So autumn is my absolute favorite time of year. We're coming up on Halloween. So I just wanted to really get in those vibes and take a day for myself to recoup and recover. I ended up getting a part-time retail job, so I'm in training for that, but it's becoming a little more intense than I thought it was gonna be, so We'll see. So the first thing that I want to do this morning is basically just make my bed and tidy up a little bit, not too much because we're trying to, we're still trying to rest and recuperate. That always makes me feel better when things are a little bit tidy. I'm incredibly ADHD and a lot of times things get a little out of hand. Ugh, I have to constantly like tell myself that I need to tidy up and clean, get everything just where it needs to be so we can rest and relax. Cheers. that has been hard for me a little bit during this recovery is making sure that I do my skincare and things like that because obviously it's been really hard to touch my face and on this side particularly because this is the side that had the nasal valve collapse. Obviously like doing things around is fine but I'm slowly starting to be able to touch this side but man. I wanted to do now that we've got a little bit of our chores and stuff out of the way that's kind of like the not so fun stuff but it does make me feel a little bit better and a little bit in a better headspace. I have my planner here and we're going to turn to October. I have a few things that I need to put in here. I like to stay like super cozy in autumn. I definitely want to ease my mind. that that kind of gets our head in a good space we put everything out there for everything that's supposed to come up this month and it's kind of a lot so I'm glad I'm getting homebody time now I really am a homebody I love being home I love working from home 
I'm basically what you call an ambivert. So basically that's a mix of introvert and extrovert. So every once in a while, I do like to be around people. I like to have friends. I love to host. I love to have people over. And so I'll do that. But after a few days of that, I need my alone time. Now that I have some sustenance and we are moving on to our next activity, then we are ready to go. The next thing that I wanted to do is coloring. So I got this a long time ago and the only thing that I had to color with at the time because I didn't really know about anything else and I haven't got anything but I still have some of my G2 pen and I've started a few pages I guess. I didn't even finish this. I wanted to do a little bit with some of my pens, but I really do want to get some of those markers. All right, so we are done with coloring for now. I got a little warm coloring, I don't know why, so. I have to put my cozy sweater back on. So I wanted to get into some Cozy Autumn media recommendations. Now, this is not like your normal like Gilmore Girls. We've talked a little bit about that. I just don't think <clears throat> that shows for me. I don't know. It. I just, I don't really like the main characters. And if you don't like the main characters, then yeah. Now, if you are into cozy and if you are into murder mysteries, then I think you will like my first recommendation. It's a cozy murder mystery and it's called Midsummer Murders. Now, it's not to be confused with that movie Midsummer. Completely different. This was way before those movies. I believe this started in the late 90s. And it's still going today, although I do recommend the first few seasons. Now, if you are an anime fan and you watch me because I do anime voice acting, I have an anime that you might enjoy and it's called Little Witch Academia and it's perfect for this time of year. So the story follows this young little witch as she enters this prestigious academy. She has obstacles like rivalries and misunderstanding. Overall, it's definitely such a cute, cozy show and I do highly, highly recommend it. Now, if we're moving on to books, I'm not the biggest reader. Anything Agatha Christie, 100% highly recommend. Some of my favorites are, and then there were none, the ABC murders. And the last one is the unexpected guest. Anything Agatha Christie, I 100% fully recommend for autumn, for Halloween. They're usually pretty short reads and you can get through them really easy. Okay, it is officially time for a late lunch. And one of the things that I love doing is making soups ahead of time. And that way you can just like heat it up and have things ready to go for like a lunch or a quick meal. So we're gonna heat that up and then we're gonna put on one of those cozy murder mysteries because that is what it, we are calling for today. supernatural one usually they aren't but it's still so cozy and I love it I just love the way that it was filmed and it just makes you feel I don't know but it's really great I swear on 
a kind of blustery or stormy day, but. <laughs> see you soon with more fall and autumn content make sure to comment a falling leaf right here yeah right here falling leaf right here and i'll see you guys <laughs>